Hello, this is the next video in a playlist that I'm calling Introduction to Mathematical Statistics. And we're in Chapter 1, which I'm calling Probability. And let's jump to today's topic, which is combinations. And the notation for combinations is this. If we take n distinct objects used r to time, and it's, you know, subscripts n and r choose, and then, or it could be this binomial coefficient n choose r, either way, it is n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. Notice that this piece on the right is the permutations formula n choose r, but we're dividing out all the extra uh, times we count in permutations. One thing to think about when you're trying to decide between permutations or combinations. In combinations, you think selections, where in permutations, you think arrangements. In permutations, you think order matters. Combinations, you think order doesn't matter. Hopefully, I'll illustrate that with a few examples. Suppose that a club consists of 25 members and that two members are to be chosen to form a committee. How many ways can the committee be filled? Well, notice that it's a committee of two. So if we pick two people, say John and then Sally, they're on the committee. I mean, if, I, we, if we would have picked Sally, then John, it's still the same committee. So the order that we pick the two does not matter. So this is combinations. And so it's 25 choose two, and then you plug them into the formula and that dot should be 25 times 12 equals 300 different ways. A class of 15 boys and 30 girls and 10 students are to be selected at random. What is the probability that exactly three boys will be selected? Now here we're going to use the multiplication rule. First we're going to select the boys. We have to have three boys, or at least that's the probability we're looking for. So it's 15 choose 2, right? And the three boys, it doesn't matter the order that we pick them. It's just three boys. And then we need to, to randomly pick seven girls. So it's 30 choose 7 is the number of ways to choose seven girls. Now, the total number of ways to choose 10 students is 45 choose 10. And thus the answer is 15 choose 3 times 30 to choose 7 divided by the total number of ways, which is 45 choose 10, which there's a 29% chance that you have exactly three boys. Suppose that 35 people are divided in a random manner into two teams. One team has 10 people and team two has 25 people. What is the probability that two particular people will be on the same team? Now, before we start, I should I want to point out or note that 35 choose 10 is equal to 25 or 35 choose 25. That they're symmetric. Also, two people say John and Sally, if they're on team one, they can't be on team two. And if they're on team two, they can't be on team one. So these are mutually exclusive events. So we can find the probability for, for them to be on team one and then find the probability of being them on being team two and then just add them and then that's the answer. So the first way for two people, so pick two specific people to be on team one, that means the number of ways that w that can happen is 33 choose 8, right? Because it was 35, but two people have to be on the team, so we're reducing the randomness to 33. And since team 1 has 10 people, but two we're placing on the team, so we're choosing 8 more at random. And that's the no number of ways that two specific people can be on team 1. And then the total number of ways that that we can select for team one is 35 choose 10 and so there's a seven and a half percent chance for that to happen 
then probably they're on team two is is 33 choose 23 right there's 35 people total we want 25 but two of them we're placing on the team so it reduces to 33 people to pick from and we only need 23 more so it's 33 choose 23 and then it's over the total number of ways to put 25 people on a team so it's 35 choose 25 so we just add these and then that's the answer so it's 57 or 60 percent roughly 57.9 and we and we add them note that the denominator even though they're they look different here it's the same number and that's it so let's illustrate a couple functions in r that i've used in the past quite a bit actually when i'm trying to figure out a problem and and I'll, let me just illustrate them. So the first one is the function choose, and that's the combination. So that's the formula that we first covered. It's this one. It's the binomial coefficient. So so uh, choose 25 and 2. So that's it, 25 choose 2, what that means. That's 300. And that's the same problem, the same answer we got in our uh, example above and the exam the solution for example two is 15 choose 3 times 30 choose 7 divided by 45 choose 10 and it's 29 percent another function that i use quite a bit is this comb in combinations in times so what it does is the first argument or the first you know piece is what we're choosing from so i'm going to pick the first four letters of the alphabet a b c d and we're choosing two at a time and then this function creates all the combinations of those four elements choose two at a time so it's a b a c a d b c b d and c d now notice that it didn't list b then A, because that's the same. We're doing combinations. That's the same as A and B. And that's it. So you can also use it as just put in numbers. So combinations, you know, seven choose three. And then it looks at the first seven integers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're choosing three at a time. And then this is all the possible combinations. There's 35 of them. So and it lists them, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 6, 1, 2, 7, 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 5. Anyway, it goes through all the possibilities. And that can, when you're trying to figure out a problem, it's so helpful sometimes just to list the possibilities. So, well, that's all I have for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.